The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Hey folks, welcome to this week's video fishing forecast. The weather's looking a little iffy for this weekend. Uh, don't let it deter you from going fishing. I mean, look at last weekend, for example. Saturday was a pretty gloomy forecast, and I know most of the island never saw a drop of rain. In fact, it stayed sunny all day where I was in the middle of the island. Um, so, again, get out there, fish, and uh, right now I'm over a capture bait and tackle. The sky is cloudy. We've had a few little raindrops. Nothing to keep you from fishing, though. And um, Capture Bait and Tackle in State Parks uh, will be hosting their annual Snapper Derby this weekend. That's a great time for the kids. Uh, it'll run Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Each day is like a separate contest. There'll be awards at the end of each day. There's uh, three, uh, three prizes for three different age groups, first, second, and third. Kids 16 and for kids 16 and under. Uh, and uh, the award ceremony will take place each day at 4.30 uh, in the afternoon. For more info on that, you can call Capture Bait and Tackle at 631-587-3430. And just down Ocean Parkway, you have the uh, Friendly's Jones Beach Kids uh, Snapper Derby taking place. That's on August 27th, so mark that down on your calendar. Uh, that's sponsored by the Jones Beach Fishing Station uh, in cooperation with Friendly's. Uh, that's Friendly's Ice Cream Shops. Uh, there'll be prizes there for the three largest snappers, again in each age group. Uh, they'll have a 6 and under, 7 to 10, and 11 to 15 year olds. There's a $15 entry fee that includes a tournament t-shirt and attendance at the awards ceremony following the last, <coughs> the last weigh-in. And uh, there'll also be live music there by uh, the Slap Jackson, or Jackson Orchestra, and he puts on a good show, Slap. For more info there, you can go to Jones Beach Fishing Station at yahoo.com. And if you're frustrated by the poor week fishing this spring, uh, you have a good opportunity to make up for it right now. Uh, the Peconics are loaded with weak fish, particularly Noyak Bay. Uh, most of the fish are two to three pounds, but there are some fish up to six pounds mixing in with the catches now. And uh, there's just a lot of, I mean, I've heard of some ridiculous catches being made out there, you know, by guys who know what they're doing with weak fish so you know that can be a lot of fun and those smaller summer on weak fish you know those two pounders three pounders they're a blast for the kids too so uh, that's a really good option for the weekend and you have the protected waters of Noyak Bay on top of it. Uh, fluke look like a really good bet this weekend again providing you know the weather conditions are right drifting conditions are good uh, Ocean fluting along the south shores uh, really taking shape. A lot of quality fish making up catches now. And uh, a lot of shorts also to keep rods bending. And there's some nice sea bass also mixed in, <coughs> mixed in with the fluke in most areas. Captain Mike Wasserman, uh, the Freeport Bay Star Stream from the Captain Lou, Fleek, uh, Lou Fleet. He reported very good fluke action uh, again this week. Lots of sea bass in the mix. Uh, Monday was one of the best days in at least three or four weeks, according to uh, Captain Mike. Uh, said one, uh, one fair had eight keepers by himself. Of course, he only kept his limit, returned the rest. Uh, and he said a good number of five-pound fish were mixed into, the, into that action. Also on Monday, Captain Ken on the Captree Pride, at a, right here at a Captree Boat Basin. Uh, he spoke of very good fishing outside of Fire Island and let with more than 40 keeper fluke. Well, that's on the half-day trip. Uh, over 100 keeper sea bass and a bunch of porgies also. That was on Monday morning's trip. Uh, fluke fishing remains top shelf in Montauk. We've been saying it every week, and it just continues to roll along. It's holding up really well. Uh, again, as long as you have the right drifting conditions. You know, there's some off times when you can't get a drift. But otherwise, it's solid fluking with fish over five pounds commonplace. And at Shinnecock, Captain John of the Shinnecock Star, he's finding good numbers of quality fluke both in the bay and out in the ocean. And when he is out in the ocean, uh, he's getting sea bass, porgies, and trigger fish in the mix. Hey, enjoy the weekend. Until next week, this is Fred Golafaro for thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.